Good morning, greetings, greetings, greetings. <laughs> yep. Who are you gonna call? Well, greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesday. I know it was different, right? So I thought, what are we going to do today except go into the Halloween mode and say hello to you? No, I am not wearing a mask. I'm not in uniform. And yet, guess what? I can always do this, and this turns into uh, another costume. Yes, we wear costumes every single day. Hello, and how are you? How are you doing? Um, today is, what are we? Today is October 23rd, and just a few days from now, it's going to be Halloween. Well, I know it's not there yet, but I was in the mood just to dress up and put this on and how often do we play dress up as adults except when we are invited somewhere right hello sweetie hi Wayne how's the weather up there how are you doing it's been such a long time oh uh, I don't know where you are is it cold do you go trick-or-treating anymore so where did this trick-or-treat come from and why do we wear those Halloween masks? But that's something else we can talk about. But today I wanted to talk about the masks we wear. It's um, every one of us, I think, wear this mask for our daily routine. We either wear uniforms or we have a mask uh, that masks a part of us, a part of what we feel, a part of what we think. What is it that they say? You must think th twice before you answer. And then when we get upset, everything just comes rambling out. Um, so this is what happened to me yesterday. Normally, I do not curse. Literally. I do not curse. Even when I want to say something derogatory, um, I foul mouth, foul words are not used by me. But <laughs> this is pushing the limit. Yesterday, I'm driving to the office. Hi, Chris. Hi, Andy. I'm driving to the office, and there was this truck right. Uh, in front of me. So as I am approaching the truck, um, I had to go around it because it was this uh, UPS truck that was standing there. And uh, as I'm trying to go around it and there was no car coming, this guy, this guy behind me in his truck wants to take over as I am approaching for him to go first before me. So I just like, I was like, really? So he stopped. I go. We get to the next uh, next block. As we're getting to the next block, there is another block in front of us. And at that very moment, as I am uh, doing, ready to do the same thing, because the truck, it was a construction truck. It was saying, bypass me, bypass me. As I come to do this, the guy comes right behind me and literally takes over, not only from me, but the car coming in front blocks everyone just because he wanted to go. And at that very moment, it just foul mouth came out of my mouth. And I'm like, of course, he can't hear me because the window was down. And I'm like, are you effing kidding me? And I was stumped and I just stopped for a moment and I'm thinking and at that very moment I thought of myself how did I um, lose it why what pushed my button what 
what was the circumstance that pushed me into that moment that something like that, I would say it. And then it surprised me. It surprised me. And I thought to myself, is this really me? Because we all have the capabilities, right? We all have the capability to say something derogatory, to say something racist, to say something that it's unethical, to do something even. Of course, this guy drove away and I just sat there and this construction worker was like uh, moving his head. I was stomped, literally stomped. And what I said is, may the force be with you and something else blocks you. And I drove away. As I drove away, it was a minute of self-evaluation for me and truly recognizing that not only me, everyone, everyone, when we get to the moment of our buttons are pushed, we can blow, we can blow up, we can say things that it's normally not us, but was there a self-punishment? Not at all. Did I punish myself? No, actually I sat in the car and I laughed. I laughed. I laughed at the situation. I left, laughed at the situation of how pushy he was and not only he's pushy in driving, he was pushy in everything else. And by the time I got to my office and I parked, and here is the best part. The guy was trying to find parking. <laughs> and, and I already parked and I got out and watched the person still looking for a parking space. So in a way, the moral of the story is, let it go. And if I can come up with an acronym or a metaphor or even, you know, nowadays there is an app for everything. So I will come up with TTSP. How about that? That's a great acronym. And the acronym can stand for this too shall pass. So this too shall pass. What a great acronym, TTSP, just like anything else. Um, I would like to remember that. And it's like, laugh it off. This too shall pass. And the day will go. So what do you do when a situation like this happens? What do you do? Uh, do you laugh it off? Do you stomp? Do you get upset? Do you hold that anger? Do you hold on to that kind of a thing behind? And it's a mask you wear. It's a position you wear. And just like the music, a Ghostbuster, right? And that's my question to you. So in order for us to manage our stress, to manage our anxiety, to manage situations like this, people who are pushy and push our buttons. We can put that button out of order. Just sit for a moment, uh, collect ourselves, breathe it out, laugh it off, because once we laugh, which is the best medicine for any situation. It's laughter is good for disease. Laughter is good for a lot of things. And don't hold it in. Literally, do not hold it in. Because the more we hold it in and we go mull over it and we think about it, it suppresses that negativity inside our body, which is worse for us, worse for our body, worse for everything. So laugh it off. And then you get to come and just like mine, you come and park, you get out and you see that person still looking for parking and you laugh. And yeah, it's like touche, right? And 
truly we can make that into a touche. So once we release it with laughter, we release it with TTSP, this too shall pass, we let it go. And wouldn't that be beautiful that we can let go of so many things, just peel away masks that no longer are beneficial to us, that we can, this is truly in a way being authentic self. I'm being authentic. Being authentic and saying, normally I do not curse, I don't hold things in, but today I became authentic of saying, you know what? It happens. Hi, Evelyn. What a beautiful soul you are. I mean, this is what I love about Facebook. A part of Facebook being live is seeing incredible, powerful people, people who give so much of themselves, people who create, people who are doing everything in their life to be authentic. And authenticity, in a way, is saying, this is me. Uh, this is me in who I am. This is me being raw. This is me being myself. This is me saying the things that I say and then apologizing for it or saying, this is what happened and this is what I said. Um, normally, I, have, I don't have many masks that I wear. I have a mask that I wear in the morning when I put my makeup on which is not much, as one of my friends said. Yes, I can see. Um, and I can take that as a derogatory, or I can take that and say, yes, she recognizes that I don't put much makeup. Frankly, I, I'm not here to say the people who put a lot of makeup is anything. But this is my authentic self. And when... I come live, this is the mask that I wear, which is being authentic. So I am a guide, I am a hypnotherapist by trade. When I work with my clients, I treat them as a whole and I help them peel away, peel away masks, just like that carving that pumpkin so that we can get all the seeds out, we can take all the insides out, and we carve it and design it and create things that we want. And we do this for Halloween time. We wear masks and uniforms and all kinds of things. We dress up to go and have fun. We dress to scare. Halloween is not my favorite time of the year because as a child I didn't like it but I think we do this for fun but how often do we stop and think of all the masks and the uniforms we wear daily from makeup from uniforms the person who wears a uniform that as a doctor the one who's an attorney the one who is a uh, you know, a uh, scuba diver, those are all uniforms. We place it upon ourselves and we take on that, that persona. So as what we wear, I also want for us to be um, cognizant and aware of the masks we wear that truly hinders us. And no matter how many layers we put upon ourselves as a fun thing, the ones that we wear to protect us, and if you keep putting layers and layers and layers and layers upon you, just become aware that those layers do not become cemented in there, that you're not becoming hardcore, that you're not becoming so hard on yourself just to protect you. Because deep down inside, I think there is a little boy and a little girl that truly wants to come and play. But most importantly, wants 
your guidance and your help to come out and shine. So no matter what masks we have or what we, uniforms we place upon, at night, right before you go to sleep, when you wash your face, when you peel away one mask and being authentic with yourself, give thanks to all that you are. The best authentic self is not to lie to yourself and to truly cherish and appreciate and accept all that you are. Because if we don't like ourselves for who we are, frankly, we're going to get tired of having that facade day in and day out for others. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be open. It's okay to say this is it. Because what is it that I said? Um, no matter how luscious and delicious of a peach we become, there's always going to be someone who's gonna say, I don't like this peach. I don't like peaches and that is okay because we are not here to satisfy everyone but the right person and the right people your people your tribe your the ones who gravitate to your message and to who you are again there's all kinds of beautiful people in this world and there is all kinds of yes ugly ugly in personality ugly in face sometimes we look in the mirror and we find ourselves being ugly not perfect hmm? not every single day is a perfect day not every single day is a beautiful hair day not every single day i know I don't have a perfect day every day either. But every single day, every single week, I show up. And today, I peeled away one mask. Yesterday, I peeled away that upset mask because, you know what? I say, I let it go. This too shall pass. And today is a new day. This hour is a new day. This coffee I made today is not the same coffee as yesterday. I do not like cold coffee. I don't even like lukewarm coffee. And I have absolutely no problem of saying that, especially when I'm having my coffee and say, would you please, do you mind please take this coffee or give me hot coffee? Because I am asking for something and when we ask for it when we say please there's all kinds of people who love to help us and i'm here to help the ones who are ready to peel away some of the masks that have become hard that have too many layers that they can't find themselves behind the masks so i think today's message Hi, Mark. How are you, love? Thank you for sharing the messages. Thank you for being such a cheerleader. Thank you. And every time I look at your picture, the picture that you have with, I don't know if it's a friend or someone that you know, uh, but right in front of the pumpkin. And I think it puts a smile on my face. And I hope... Um, that I can put a smile on one or two persons. And if you are here, just say something. I don't know who else is here. I can't see. Today I tried to go on the computer, but my my camera was not working on the computer and I'm going like, you know what? Automatically shift to the phone. So every single day we have choices. 
and what we do with our choices is up to us. How we respond is up to us and how we take things is also up to us. So today I challenge you, I challenge you to put this acronym of TTSP, this too shall pass, right? And it can be T2SP, number two, this too shall pass. And remember that. And if there is anything I can help you from stress, anxiety, panic, uh, being upset all the time, or there is a pain that you want to heal. And from IBS, you know, even yesterday, I placed a testimonial on my Heal Within page on Facebook. You can find me on Facebook, our professional page, which, by the way, Starting January 2019, all my Heal Talk Tuesdays will be placed, will be live from my Heal Talk, uh, from my Heal Within page. Because I want to shift from my personal and go to my professional page. Because uh, that's the way it ought to be. So that's the choice I'm making. And my personal will be all my personal stuff. So if you want to find me starting January soon, we will transition to Heal Within, a healing center for mind-body therapy. Go to that page and you will see a testimonial, uh, great messages and blogs and things that I put about hypnosis, about healing, about health and vitality. And my daily gratitude Every single day, I come live, and you can find it, Daily Gratitude Idea. Every day, I come live for two or three minutes and do a daily gratitude. So join me. Join my, and it's a private group. Join the private group. Go to Heal Within. And I want to be your extension. So if there is anything even right here, right now, if you were to peel one mask, to peel one habit, to peel one thing, how would that make you feel? If it can free you, if it can help you, just every single day, let go of one thing. Whatever it used to bother you, if it used to pain you if it used because if it was a grudge you kept <laughs> believe it or not it was yours to keep because the person who was against it or towards it most probably they have absolutely no idea and they're going about their own life not knowing about this so I think whatever it is that we do we do it to ourselves, and it's time for you to let it go free yourself and remember this too shall pass and until we meet next week, keep the ghouls and the gobblers and the pumpkins away and join me next week. Um, maybe next week I will dress up for you, even though I think at any time I can do something. And this is a great dress up. I can even put this up on my hair and turn this into a... Mm. <laughs> right? This is another form. And every single day we can do this. We can just beautify ourselves accept ourselves, appreciate ourselves, and play, play what? Play doll, play beauty, play whatever it is that you choose to play, as long as it's loving for you and makes you laugh. So until next week, I bid you goodbye. Thank you for being here and have an incredible Tuesday. If you appreciate this, send me a message, let me know, and I am here to help you 
assist you, evoke, embrace, and evolve to the best of you. You know why? Because you matter. Until next week, I'll see you later.